Hello out there in Tombow land. Today we finna I'll start with a unique project, it's an OA Boosa. This is something that everybody that likes sport bikes and speed can get into. And our project is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna show you how to tear the motor down and put the motor back together using a variety of parts that uh, that's available through some of Tombow partners. So if you, if you want to, grab a seat, some popcorn, and we're gonna start, get to work. Yeah, one of the first things that I'm gonna start doing is pulling the valve cover off off this motor right here and start inspecting everything that we got to do. So what I like to do is take a breaker bar and break everything like so, uh, get it all loose. Then I come back and pull that loose and use my DeWalt impact to pull the boost the rest of the way out. And once you get those out, you come over here, pop your valve cover up, and you kind of wiggle it. And be careful not to tear up your oil ring base also. Okay. On these Suzuki, Suzuki motors, they got the inspection hole right here so what i want to do is line this little slot up with the cams right there and there it is as you can see right there there's there's the reference mark right right in there and that hole right there and you can see the the look the little groove cut in there and you can see the line right there where you can see where the arrows one and two that's for the cam timing or uh, are straight uh, straight with the, the maintenance surface of the cylinder head and then you know you can look you can you can also look right here it's little slots that's cut into the cams where you can also look and see that they perpendicular with the surface. The first thing we're doing uh, on these cams, I'm taking the cam chain tensioner guide off and I'm placing it in this little plastic baggie right here so I can keep everything together because you want to keep all of that's the key thing for uh, putting it back together is keeping all your parts, all your parts together. And I set it over here on the workbench right here where all of this stuff right here, all the components that come off of this motor right here is going to be labeled and bagged. And uh, next thing I'm going to do again, I'm going to break all of these bolts on the cams, hold this here, and then I'm going to use my impact to bring them off. But one of the things that you want to do, you want to take these out evenly. You don't want to take one out real fast and the other one out. You want to keep take all this stuff out because you don't want to damage the threads taking this stuff loose. You know, it's just as important the way you take it apart because yeah, it can hinder you when you get ready to put it together because you can cause tension to be on everything when you uh, put it back together because you took them out too fast and, and stripped the bolt. You don't want to do that. So I'll take this one out right here. One of the unique things about these booster motors right here, they keep the motors so cool, is they bathe in oil. And one of the new things that Suzuki came out with years ago, where they make this transfer tube right here that pumps oil and keeps the cam bathing in oil all the time. That's something that Suzuki and some of the newer bikes ha have employed over the years. And, uh, keep the cams from burning up. That's one of the things I'm gonna show you because this little tube right here and the way the oil system works on it is this this is something that Suzuki employed this that helps the motor builder and the owner and the cam manufacturers tremendously. Now now we're removing the cylinder here. Right now we're taking the one of the oilers off of the cylinder head that that's uh bolted 
to the bottom of the motor, which is, this is the oil journal right here that pushes the oil up to the top of the motor, which, which oils this whole top end. Now we already broke these uh, cylinder head bolts loose, so now we're just taking them out. Yeah, these, I'm pulling the head, head studs out right now. And normally, on a good motor, you know, uh, a motor that's going to make, say, 400 horsepower or more, 350 horsepower or more, I like to use out the market studs. Well, these stock bolts right here, they stretch a little bit, and you can normally torque these down to about, uh, about 55 inch pounds. But with the aftermarket studs, with the aftermarket studs, we can go 62 pounds. So, you know, it's a lot. It all depends on the kind of ap application that the customer is going to use it on. All right, now we're ready to pull the pull cylinder head off. Okay. You got to be careful not to get the, you got two tensioners in there, so you make sure that you leave one sitting right there. So you got to be careful not to do that. You know, I always like to let my cylinder head sit there for a second to let it drip the excess oil and pull the head gasket. And the head gasket is uh, real important. Uh, we're going to be putting a new head gasket on here, and the head gasket that we're going to be putting on here is going to be an aftermarket head gasket, and it has a, a stainless ring built into the head gasket, which sandwiches when you torque it down, when you torque this thing down to 50, 60 pounds, you want it to hold all your compression in and, and get a good seal. Cause you know, not only are you just working with the compression here, you got this motor's also got water and antifreeze in it. So you, you got to make sure you got a real good seal. Most important, head gasket. And then when we come back, we're gonna take this cylinder head right here. We're gonna send it to the shop. And the thing about this cylinder head that we're gonna do, we're gonna have this cylinder head ported and polished. And what the port and polish is gonna do, and we're gonna have it flow checked. What that's gonna do is keep the ports consistent. Uh, whatever the factory made, we wanna check that to make sure it's good before we even port it. The, my guy's gonna flow check everything. But once he ports it, all the ports are gonna be even and checked so it, it'll have a nice flow uh, a nice flow evenly, so that way this bike right here will hold the mill. Now we're taking the pistons off of the rods here now, and ain't no need of inspecting these pistons because we're just going to use them for ashtrays anyway, or or somebody that's got a turbo bike or something uh, might call me one day, so uh, they can use them, you know, but they only last that long, but. Uh, we're looking at the rods here now, and these are stock rods right here. We're going to utilize these stock rods right here, not because uh, uh, we don't want to put no big ones in it, but these stock rods right here, they do it right here up to 350 horsepower, sometimes 375. Uh, and the aftermarket rods, which are a little more beefier and stronger, they can go, they can go, I don't see some of these booster motors already make exceed over 500 horsepower. But for what we're gonna do, ride it on the street and go to the track, these stock ones will work just fine. Now we're taking the, the starter, the starter assembly apart here, you know, and just take a little time right here, pop, pop it, you know, pull it all loose. And this is something that Suzuki fixed and helped everybody out because now instead of a solid gear, they put these, they built these starters where they got all of these like tensioner gears in there now and what this is way better than what they had because these what the starter gear does now it flexes it absorbs so that it, it doesn't hurt the big motors now it doesn't break all the start off in the beginning in the 99 in the 2000 to 3 all of these right here you was seeing everybody with a suzuki with a hayabusa has starter problem well they did fix this problem right here now we're pulling the clutch out, uh, cover off right now, taking all the bolts out so we can pull the clutch off. Now any of you weekend racers that uh, go to the track, I know you f well familiar with pulling your clutch apart here. So uh, we're pulling it out because we're going to inspect it and we're going to put some hop up, hop up parts in it also. Go over here to the workbench right here. 
The next thing we're going to do here, we got six bolts here. We're going to use the wrench right here, pull them out. You want to pull them out evenly because this is your clutch right here. Right here, cross from each other because you don't want to put any of the any of these springs in a bind and make everything pop off at you. If you notice on this last two high, I kind of went a little bit, a little bit because I didn't want it to pop off at me. Now we come back here, a little screwdriver, start pulling the clutch out. And with this motor is going to get a new clutch right here. Anyway, as you as you can see, I'm pulling the clutch, and you can see where uh, the steels the steels on this thing have got hot before, and they all burnt and and just this this is just a, not a good clutch. And then we're gonna start replacing replacing parts in it. You know, the needle bearings look fine. This this helps you. And uh, we're gonna take this big nut off, and then we're gonna get rid of this right here. As you can see right here, this is something that Suzuki did. Uh, when they built this bike right here, because this GXXR 1300, that 1340 that they built right here, this wasn't built actually for uh, for us drag races. This right here was built more or less for a touring bike. So this is a two-stage type lockup clutch they got in it. So when you release it, it it's got to get a, a turn before it start actually starts to engage. But what we're gonna do, they it's a a bunch of different companies out there that make modification kits for this clutch and we're going to use one of them. There's something that that everybody needs to know how to put a clutch in and how to take a clutch out. Okay now we're pulling the clutch basket out of this 08 Hayabusa now. Uh, here's the oil pump gears right here. Back there they come off the basket also and you want to inspect the basket now to see what we have to do to it. And we had to, the basket, you know, is a tamarine right now, as you can see. And what the reason this basket does that right there on the stock bike, what this basket does right here, these work as shock absorbers for you when you release the clutch right here. And what the, if you didn't have these springs in there, when you release the clutch, it would just tear all the gears off out of your transmission. But this right here, uh, these new bikes are so fast that they real hard on the on the clutch baskets and the springs right here. So what we're going, gonna do is have this right here remodified right here. And what they'll do is take this basket, this this blacking plate off of here, and put new springs in here, which are a little bit stronger. So when you release the clutch, it it a lot it moves a little bit, but doesn't allow it to move real fast and stuff. So this is one of the things that we got to replace because. You see how tamarind it is? All it takes is one good Saturday night at the track or one good Saturday night on the street with Leroy and you'll be busted. All right, for this installment right here, this is as far as we're taking this 08 booster motor right here down right here because uh, we're going to take in uh, the only thing different that we're going to do for it is pull the oil pan and put an oil pressure bypass in a high pressure oil pressure bypass in it. Uh, these Suzuki GSXR motors, they got such a good bottom end, a good transmission, but this is going to be mostly street, street. Uh, so we ain't going to go in the bottom end and do a bunch of stuff to it. But you know, but if it was going to be a race motor, we'll put an undercut transmission in it and, and put rods and so on and so on. It's uh, unlimited to the modification we could do to the bottom. But for this motor right here, we just simply going to do, put pistons in it, new gaskets, pour and polish the head and a set of cams, jets, those modifications along will take this motor right here from going nines to going eights and still be able to ride it on the street and still be able to maintain a good amount of street ability. And we're gonna be modifying the clutch also in it. But for the next statement, uh, segment, be here when we have it built up.